Yeah, and this was a full eight foot sheet, and then I, I had to cut this one to hold it. Oh my god, I literally have a corner. What are you talking about? Hold it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to show this gap yet. Okay, well, go back. <laughs> today but also didn't you just change this oh you wear them out you wear them out like you just changed this well i had a thicker grid on it for what i was doing oh okay hold on do you want it to come down some or do you want it it's got a speed dial on the other side hey seriously she didn't want her bed moved this is why we can't have nice things, Daisy. What do you have to say for yourself? It was rainy and crappy outside. I just thought I'd go ahead and put you in here. Um, today we're going to cut all the slats for for our wood roof. Something kind of like that with a little bit of spacing in between. You see it a lot. Um, but that's what the wife wants. What the wife wants, the wife gets. So we're going to start cutting all these. Short. It ended up being not so great I don't I can't tell if you guys can tell but man it is like so each and every one of these we ended up doing by hand with a hand router and it's worked out pretty easy but Easy peasy. Finish these up and then we'll get back into the van and we'll start putting these on the roof. On the roof! So we're gonna use um, just a small bead of the adhesive along each uh, board. What are we calling these? The things that go on the roof, decorative slats. slats. Decorative slats. So we're gonna put a small bead of that adhesive on the back and then we're gonna use a one inch brad to go into the subfloor, the sub roof that we have up there. And then in the areas we have those cross beams, we'll go ahead Sorry, and a two inch brad in there for extra support, just so these things don't come popping out and nail somebody in the head. Um, but yeah, onward. And upward. I thought you said beads. This is a bead. That's a strip. No, this is a bead. No, a bead is a dot. No, that's maybe in other worlds, but in the construction world, this is one bead. What bead means? Maybe if you're lucky. Stand by. Uh, <laughs> this happened last time. Well, my first attempt at the roof is a failure. We've had a couple small failures before, but this is going to equate to a little bit more work. So, I think some people would just go with it, but it's not the type of person I am. Um, it would bother me every day that I saw it, but long story short, everything looks okay. Um, but this ends up being the gap 
that's gonna make me take the whole roof out and replace it and actually replace it with one single piece that goes all the way down um, but I'll use this as the template and uh, hopefully it works out a little better the second time so this is what not to do or how not to build your ceiling. Here we go. I've got I've got the the roof out, the ceiling out. I don't even know what to call the thing. got the ceiling out and I've got the new piece of plywood here it's a quarter inch it's the same as the Luan um, just a higher quality and it matches the wood that's gonna be on top so I think it's a better choice I love doing things twice it's my favorite so I marked with a couple of pieces of wood because that was part of the problem in doing it in two pieces sure it was easier to get in there but like we did last night, or like I showed you in the, earlier in the video, you have this apex that you have to worry about. And we want one single piece going all the way to the back for our trim pieces. So what we did is I marked a couple of pieces of wood with the correct spacing and just put some, so this is the front of the vehicle back of the vehicle, the back, front. I knew that this was B block, and I put an A block here, and then back and front. So I didn't have to worry about this little cutout piece in the middle. I was taking care of that. So what I'm gonna do now is get everything lined up on here. Get my taper correct. So your van tapers in, in the front for aerodynamics, and then also top to bottom, it tapers in. So your floor versus what your ceiling is, it's always going to be smaller. Your ceiling's going to be smaller. So you can see we're testing out the fit. We're going to pull it back down. We want to put up some adhesive. And then one thing I did different this time that I learned is we started on that left side, we got everything pinned, started working towards the middle, and then all the way to the right. So I'm going to start installing our strips that go down, our decorative strips, and then we'll put our cabinets back up. Keep on rolling. Maybe we'll actually get this done this week. And I've taken the opportunity to use us putting these strips on um, to fortify or make the, the ceiling stronger. Um, what I've done is, let's see, I've got screws in each one of these. We're using a 3 8 inch Forstner bit and a 3 8 inch uh, plug cutter. And the plug cutter is going to be the tool that I focus on this week, um, essentially making any woodworking project look like it doesn't have fasteners. Go look at that tool. And then essentially you just take a screwdriver, a flathead, pop them out. Now you have perfect little plugs to make it look like you never had any fasteners at all. 
So now we have our fillers. They're glued in and they're dry now. So you want to go with the grain. Take a sharp chisel. Go with the grain. And give it a little pop. Pop. Most important thing is with the grain. If you try to go against the grain, it's going to eat it all up. Yeah. Okay. Off camera, we used a clear lacquer to protect the ceiling slats. Make sure you check back with us next week when we start to tackle all of our cabinetry, priming and painting, and start looking at drawer placements. Although there was extra work involved, we really enjoy how the slatted ceilings turned out. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when the next video drops.